Hi guys, it's Tia from Toy Scram and I'm back. Today we have an unboxing of the Barbie number 82 and number 86. So I'm going to start with number 82, also known as Chic and Chambray. This is a beautiful doll. I've been waiting for her for a long time. I have the Tropic Cutie, which is number 59, and I have the new Chic and Chambray. And those are the only two that I have from this line. According to Mattel's website, this doll is supposed to come out spring of 2018 and the cost listed online was $9.99. I purchased her from Amazon for $15 because I did not want to wait. Now I noticed she had a slight mark on the back of her head from the packaging, but you really can't notice it uh, with the flocking, but unless you look very closely. She is overall a beautiful doll with her pink lips and her um, brown eyebrows. I think that she needs earrings. Let me know in the comments if you think she needs earrings too. Her shirt is made from chambray-like material and it opens with a Velcro in the back. Her shorts are an easy up and down elasticated waist and they're made up of a leather-like material. Look at those shoes. And here's our next doll, number 86, the Deluxe Fashionista. This is a beautiful doll. I was first attracted to her by her hoop earrings. They really make her stand out. And also her unique jacket. I purchased this doll from Target's website for $14.99. All right, let's get her out of the box. It's a fairly easy unboxing. The only thing that I notice is that she's attached to the box with plastic fasteners in her head and they do um, stick in even after you pull her out so you may need to cut it. Her hair feels pretty good but it does have a lot of product on the back especially behind the jacket. Her dress is a light uh, minty kind of color. It's made out of a stretch fabric and it has the black and white crisscross straps on it. It is a really pretty dress. The only thing that I noticed is that the plastic fasteners did leave small holes in it. The dress also comes with a visor. The visor has a slight kind of silver sheen to it and then this pretty white clutch. I love the detail of the zipper on it and then the handle. Now this jacket, the jacket is made out of a very uh, kind of scratchy material and I love the zipper effect. It has a hole in the hood so that you can put her hair in a ponytail through it. The pink dress that she's wearing under the jacket is made up of a basic t-shirt type material. This doll does have flat feet and she comes with some pretty detailed high top sneakers. I noticed that the earring left a slight dark mark on her skin. I'm trying to get it out with soap and water. Here are the dolls all together. I did swap out their outfits. Thank you so much for watching Toysgram. Bye!